Hello everyone, my name is Darsh Jha and we are the students of SRM Public School. We are all so happy to present ourselves to you on an occasion like this. As students, we all get opportunities all the time. These opportunities we are apprehensive or scared of. But opportunities are like doors and we are all so glad that we took the decision to step through this door. SRM Public School has always been all about developing scientific curiosity and innovation in their students. Realizing that space is the tomorrow, they partnered up with a well-renowned organization, Space Kids India, to give the students from grade 6 to grade 11 the opportunity to help design a payload that is going to accompany a satellite. Just imagine that, school students developing a payload. It's the stuff of dreams. We are all so glad that we got this opportunity because it provided us a gateway into aerospace and astronomy. Every student had a completely unique takeaway from this program and every student's interests were incorporated beautifully into this program, whether it be coding, astronomy, aerospace, mechanics, all of it under one roof. We're all very grateful for this opportunity as it provided a sneak peek into an industry that we had no idea even existed. We're all extremely proud to be students of SRM Public School as we had the unprecedented gift to leave a mark on Indian space exploration. Now, I'm gonna let you see for yourself. SSLV D3 rocket Mulam Vinil Selata Patola, EOS 08 Serke Kul, Puravuda Kadavichi Alabu Lita, Palveri Yerke Karani Hale Kandar in the Bumi Kanapoled. Esara Manavakal Uruvakia, Tolinutpa Mulita, Idan Mulu Palangal, Yenan. In the Sayri Tukupil Parkala. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Stihari Kota, Satish Davan Yavadar Atirindu, SSLV D3 rocket Vinil Yava Patada. In the rocket T, EOS 08 Enter Serke Code, Ineka Patan the Rail, rocket Vinil Yava Pata, Padanara of the Nimadatil, Vichigra Maha, Serke Code, other Kana Sutuata Padagin Serta Patada. In the Serke Code Ilula, over a Karavi Hill, over a Yerke Karni Hill, Kandari with the Maha Porta Patrana. Padan Padi, Perida Melan Mai, Sutuchul Kangani to Membodum Gene, Isro Tirvikarada. Kaganyan Titatrika in the Serke Cold, Peru the Vipuria Ulada, Isro Talever Sobna, Trivitula. Mailum, Space Kids of India and Ramipudan Yenadu, Yasaram Pali, Manavar Hill Uruwaki, Yasar Demosat Serke Kodum, Vinil Serta Patel. Change Operation Director may confirm Kardia here. SR Zero Demosat. I am K. Karthik and I am here to give you all a small introduction about what is space. Space has a, is boundless. It is filled with new ideas where physics behave differently from where they behave on the ground. They are all taken to an extreme at space. The planets, the stars, they orbit around each other due to gravitational waves. There is a delicate dance between these gravitational waves that allows them to stay in orbit. Through this, we learned a lot about this in the Space Kids course we went through when designing a satellite, since we need to know what is space before we send something into it. So our CubeSat is the first of its kind because it uses a new deployment system, which is Deployer X. So this new deployment system is based on uh, energy or a conservative way to deploy our satellite in a precise location for a precise orbit. So this new developer, uh, Deployer X, is very important. Um, and due to it being different, we had to modify our CubeSat to work around it. So our, a CubeSat is basically a cubical uh, satellite structure that is very light and it was first created so that organizations and universities could create their own satellite, send it to space and it's cost effective. So since our deployer is different and we still have to make a CubeSat because it's cost effective and it's simpler, we had to design a new type of CubeSat. So instead of it being a cube-like structure, it would be similar to the bat symbol from Batman. So this is very important because it counteracts and works along with the Deploy X. So the CubeSat uh, uses Kepton. Uh, Kepton is a material that we coat our entire satellite with so that radiation as well as the system can be hot or in moderate temperature so that it can work. So it is multiple layers of gold, uh, a gold-like uh, substance and then 
uh, a net or a rigid substance that can stop the radiation from getting through with multiple layers. Um, another way we also stop radiation from harming our satellite because radiation is a large problem in space. We use radiation hardening to st uh, like protect our systems, uh, which was Arduino systems as well as Raspberry Pi. Um, uh, another way we also put, uh, also planned our satellite to work is the different orientation of the um, solar panels. These solar panels are very energy effective. They can they're the best or the most powerful one so that they can convert the solar energy from the sun uh, into usable energy for the satellite so that it can do its mission properly. Space industry is not just about launching a rocket into space and putting a satellite into orbit. It's all about exploring space and beyond them. So how do we receive signal from space and collect data and make it useful? So we get the signal from space miles away with the help of the antenna. So now I'm going to explain about the key characteristics of a helical antenna. So the helical spiral. And the wires are typically wound into a helical circle, which would uh, increase the bandwidth of the communication, which is uh, more important for the ex extraterrestrial communication for the satellite. And then the main advantages of the uh, helix antenna is its simple design, cost effective, uh, more cost effective and high directivity. It's higher bandwidth and it can also operational in UHF and VHF bandwidths. Hello everyone, I'm Harish from SRM Public School. Here to explain to you about this antenna and the connection setup which we are having at our base station to track our satellite. So this is the main antenna which is called helix antenna. We use this to receive signals from every possible direction. Then which is then connected to this. LNA which stands for low noise amplifier through which the signal gets amplified then gets sent to this microcontroller and then we observe the patterns in it, we receive it, we track it and monitor it 24 by 7 through our school's base station here. Our satellite is LoRa based M2M messaging payload. This satellite can be used to help fishermen and trekkers who may get lost in wild or sea. Our satellite can be used for navigation and tracking. We use a software known as Orbiton to calculate the real-time position of the satellite and also we use the, our own base station in our school campus which could be used to gather the data from the satellite. With the help of TLE keys, this software helps us to track our satellite and this software shows the trajectory of the satellite and as you can see from here, this is where our ground station is located which is SRM Public School and this even shows the coverage of the satellite at which the range where we can even receive the signals of the satellite. So on monitoring this 24 cross 7 and uh, we may get, we will get to know where our uh, satellite will be. We will be able to get uh, signals from the satellite and there is many data that we can get from the satellite. Our satellite works on the store and forward principle of data transfer. It has internal temperature and the external temperature readings and voltage, current, power and battery health will be shown in the application. We receive data from the satellite such as internal temperature, external temperature and surrounding temperature also battery health, voltage, current and power including the radiation and the location from the satellite. We were all interested towards this program in our own ways, but there was one thing we were all looking forward to, and that was the launching day. On August 16th, we traveled to Sri Harikota to witness this historic event of our lives. It was a really magical experience, from the four hour drive to watching the rocket lift off. It was a really special feeling for me, watching the separation stages. When we started this session, we had a very little idea about what we are going to learn. But throughout this journey, we learned a lot. We learned about propulsion systems, power management, which are very important for the functionality and the lifelongity of a satellite. The things which we learned in building our satellite were both about theoretical and practical applications in our life. We did many hands-on projects and learned the intricacies of programming language as well. All in all, the the experience was extremely educational and fun. We got to learn about space and the space industry itself. We thank our correspondent sir, our advisor ma'am and our school's management for giving us this opportunity.